This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. Why hello there. I wanted you to know I am totally not like you. I am not like other girls because I put on my left sock and then my right sock. <laughs> Shock, I know, right? You've never heard of such a thing, right? OMG, you can't believe your ears, right? <laughs> so today we're gonna check the subreddit and not like the other girls and see what other people are getting up to and whatnot and see how uh, they express themselves, shall we? says when the vm thought i was just a side chick but now our kids are siblings uh are, are you really okay so you so you saying you you know that the guy was with someone else as well and now you, both of you are pregnant is that something you should be going about like that i don't know is there anything to gloat about i don't know but you you do you girl i don't know good, good for you Okay, let's see. Men pay other women to raise their children so their wives can go work for another man to get a paycheck to pay the other women to raise their children. Okay, it's just me or does my brain just stop working? Because I do not- I cannot process this. I, I cannot process what you just said at all, girl. Like, what? My brain just- what? So basically you're just saying I, either the guy pays for the other people to take care of their children or the women essentially pays for it as well after a while i don't know this just broke my brain i, I don't understand so okay sure whatever you say realizing i was born a wife in a generation full of but i don't even know what that's supposed to mean but sure sure and then i i think the things in the fry pan need to be taken out though they look they look pretty done already so you should probably take it out i'm just saying also I don't know why there's always like a weird flex of people either being wives to other people or like something like well like what what is there to flex i don't know <laughs> it's just sometimes people really want to flex the weirdest things teenage girls stroll past engrossed in a discussion about their tans read books i follow world affairs I have opinions on more than just shoes and golf clubs. Which, which girls have opinions on golf clubs? I mean, most people don't associate golf with females. I'm just curious about that one. And none of these idiots are thinking about climate change. They're wondering what to wear on the yacht tomorrow. I mean, if they're going to go outside tomorrow. Why wouldn't they think of what they need to wear? Also, like, not that many people get tans. So, sure. Sure. I this, this was like, you know, like shots fired, but also why are the shots being fired? Kind of thing. You know, if uh, you get what I'm trying to say, I don't know. This is just what it feels like to me. Okay, now let's look at this next one, shall we? The chubbier the girl, the more peaceful she is. These skeletons are very rude. What is, what is that even supposed to mean in any way, shape, or form? I do not know. Oh, I do not know. Oh. Are you saying that everyone that you're buried next to is being rude because they're all thin? So you're saying that attitude is depending on your weight. So if you have more weight, you're more at peace because reasons. And if you don't have that much weight, you're more meaner because reasons. Is, is that what you're saying? Because I mean, that's the only thing I can you know like understand from this but is it really understandable anyways i don't know <laughs> but uh-huh sure sure whatever you say maturing is realizing you prefer to wear less revealing clothes and more elegant styles i mean that's nothing to do with it though like have you not seen people in like whatever age they are wearing less wearing clothes that are quote-unquote revealing like i i don't know this, this just seems like why why are you even saying this you know, like wearing revealing clothes does not make you immature or like does not mean that you're not mature. It just means that you prefer a certain styles of clothing and that's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, it depends on how she considers, you know, like what revealing clothes are as well, you know, because like a lot of the celebrities that go for like elegant styles, you know, when they wear those like long dresses and whatnot, right? They might be going for elegant style there, 
but there there's like it, it, it could be considered revealing if you think about it because most of them are you know like either strapless or like have like the spaghetti straps or something you know like there's not much here so like then their arms are open and then like maybe someone has like a leg opening here or something and, and dress so it really depends i want to but also maturing e does not equal elegant styles <laughs> okay i feel like a lot of the times people have this weird concept about like what being mature means and like you know it's it's not like acting all snobby or like acting like you know all the answers that's not what you call being mature mature is more like you know uh, you finally understand that you, d you don't really have to like always like comment back to someone or like you don't always have to g go and try to help someone else or something because you know sometimes people take advantage of you or something like that and whatnot i don't know like maturing takes a lot of different shapes and forms but like clothing is not something that you know shapes you as, as mature i'm just saying so let's look at this one shall we mom you better not party like other girls da, 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 da. me ready for bed by 9 p.m on a saturday night reading the bible mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Super parents. Oof. Two seasons. Sheesh. And episode 24. Who's giving these people what? Sheesh, man. She is super parents. I tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know why they always go after people that like like to party. Is there's nothing wrong if some people enjoy partying and some people don't. You know, like I'm more of the, on the side that I don't really enjoy going to parties. Like I've tried a few times going out. Like outside when people were all like yeah just you know just invites open to anyone but i i personally don't really like i like more like either the parties that are like uh people i know throw and i know it's not like a huge party or anything that's not engulfed in smoke or something right and they'll just stay around for a bit and just uh go away like i said i don't understand <laughs> why they attack people with that like to party i mean there's nothing wrong as long as you are being careful uh of where you are uh, who you're with uh you know don't drink anything that looks shady which is basically don't drink any drink that you don't remember it getting yourself or someone is offering to you or yes yeah, there's a lot of darkness to partying for sure but you know as long as you're being safe and sound and you come back to your own house safe and sound then party if you want you know what your responsibilities are you know where you should be and shouldn't be okay let's see what does this one say why do authors think uh duh, 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 like this is cute or funny like psst, girl like whatever maybe it's not feminist or whatever but i like taking care of people i know i'm supposed to be ambitious and take over the world but really i just want a restaurant small enough that i can peek out and see people's faces when they try the food mm -hmm. yeah that's that's fine i mean if you want to see people enjoying your food in a not too big restaurant sure that's that's up to you yeah whatever makes you happy why are people always attacking people that like to take care of people i mean some people really do like taking care of people and that's not necessarily a bad thing or anything you know if you want to take care of people sure but also do know that just because you take care of someone doesn't mean they're going to return the, the same favor to you if you are in need of help or anything if you know you can clearly see the signs that their attitude is like P -p -p -p, and they treat you like the but you know they don't mind you taking care of them you know just try to spend your energy on people that actually show that they do care about you and not just like throw away words but with their actions as well and it should be fine okay let's look at this one shall we not his type because i'm not a da, 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 with zero self-respect and zero brain uh-huh so you're assuming that the reason why he rejected you was not because of your attitude or anything like that it was because he just goes for people that have zero self-respect and zero brain that's a wild assumption girl and also if that is your assumption of the person then like uh better for you just move on then if you don't you don't agree with what his thoughts are anyways well you know i'm just saying just move along then you gotta know that sometimes people will reject you and that's perfectly fine not everyone will return your feelings or feel the same about you and that's fine you know 
I just hope that if you ever do uh, get rejected, that the person that is rejecting you doesn't do it in a way that they're trying to humiliate you, but rather they're just like flat out telling you no. And, you know, be respectful to you while they're saying it. That, that's a good outcome, I would say. Let's see, something I am not scared to admit as a woman. And for the people who are going to say I make more money than you, I will sacrifice my self-respect for money, so I don't care how much you make. Okay, this one lost me because I have no idea what they're even trying to say. So I have no idea what you're saying, so I'm just going to give you a confused Rhea face. Okay, let's check out this next one, shall we? Let's see. Uh, had five kids with no morning sickness. Nine month pregnancy. We're good. Kept doing daily chores with no problems even while in labor. Can't believe how women today have a difficult time during pregnancy and afterwards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So instead of feeling super lucky that you had it good, you decide to throw shade on other people? Sure. Let's check what the other people say. Literally, I feel like pregnancy... Uh, it just sucks the life out of me every uh, day. Then everyone and everything gets on my nerves. Uh, I can't take it. People don't even be doing nothing to me for real. I just hate it. Yeah. I was so unbearably sick the first six months of my pregnancy. I literally threw up every single day. All day. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, right? Like a lot of people do not tell you that. Um, or like maybe some people do not realize that. Some people actually, you know, do have a, a good time during pregnancy. You know, they don't really feel that sick. They relatively are, you know, like pretty fine. They don't have any complications. So, you know, instead of being thankful that that's the case, people dunk on other people, sure. But again, you don't know how other people are feeling. It's the same thing, you know, if like uh, when people go through the time of month, right? Some people literally cannot even stand up without like taking some painkillers or something. Because the pain is, uh, um, you know, like unbearable and whatnot. And others are, you know, like, eh, it's not as bad, so they deal with it. And some others really don't really feel it that much. And like, it maybe lasts like a day or two. Because some have it like for seven days, some is like five, some is like three. You, you never know. The point is, people's bodies are different, and the way you feel stuff is going to be different. So just because you are fine doesn't mean someone else going through a similar experience or the same experience is going to have the exact same result as you. Just realize that, okay? Okay, let's see what this one says. I always get banned from dating sites. Oh no, they think I'm a catfish. No, I really am a blonde gamer girl. Mm -hmm. I mean... Are you sure that's why they're banning you from dating sites and nothing else? Like, are you sure that's the only reason why? I'm just saying. I mean, I have never, I've, I haven't been on dating sites, but like, probably something else for you to get banned. You know, I'm just saying. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, I'm in my mid thirties, barely wear makeup, and uh, have never had any fillers, Botox or surgery. Men, do you prefer your women all natural? Or are some enhancements okay? I mean, it's a preference between other people. You know, some people like people a certain way. Other people don't like a certain way and stuff like that. But also, like, if you're going to base your choice of picking someone, if they wear makeup or not, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes it feels like people are make, uh, like having makeup on into such a big deal. Like, you know, it's people's preference. If they want to use makeup, sure, go ahead. If they don't want to, then that's fine. You know, it's their choice. Um, it's it's not wrong of them to use it, and it's not wrong of them to not use it. Whichever way you're comfortable with. You know? Because sometimes people, like, don't understand why, why you don't use it, and sometimes people go after you because you use it. It's like a, a weird... Whatever they're trying to do, I don't know what it is, but just do what you want. Just be you and you'll be fine. Let's check this one out, shall we? Did you already know that? If a car has been driven too many kilometers and has had too many previous owners, the car loses value. I hope I don't have to explain it to you twice because this isn't about cars. And also, you just sound like why. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this, these type of comments really just make me facepalm. <laughs> 
sometimes sheesh man sheesh again like what's it to you if people have you know been with other people here's the thing guys okay you roughly don't know when you're gonna get like together with someone okay unless like even if you're actively looking for someone to go out with right you still don't know if you're gonna you know strike out or not it's not unreasonable for people to have had multiple relationships and it's also not unreasonable that they haven't had that many relationships either it's whatever they're comfortable with if they were looking for someone and they found someone and they decide to date and it didn't work out it happens you know like it's not like people specifically always try to date people just to break up with them in mind right uh, sometimes you know you just stuff happens you drift apart or you just realize that this might not be for you because you're just like um butting heads on too many stuff that you think you shouldn't be and you just feel like you should go on your merry way and that's fine you know like don't judge people if they have been with people or they haven't been with people like eh you know, if you care about it that much, I don't know what to tell you. But no one loses value or anything if they were with people or they weren't with people. Either way, you know, like, the ones that have had uh, past relationships, maybe they learned from their own mistakes. And maybe that was a positive for them when they go into a relationship with someone new, you know. Maybe, you know, they just didn't have any luck with the other ones or maybe it's just was turning or maybe they just saw that they were in a toxic relationship and they just decided uh, this is not for me and just said okay i'm going and yes i know what they're trying to say with what they're saying but like again it's none of your business either <laughs> just move along move along pov you prioritize your career instead of being domesticated and now you're lost in a supermarket huh what <laughs> excuse me <laughs> why would you I think this would be a good thing to write about what what sheesh also you know sometimes if you go to a new place right and you're not familiar with the layout you might get lost in the supermarket it does happen like if you're used to going into like certain supermarket and then you go go to somewhere else and then their layouts are pretty different and you you might be a little bit confused but you know you'll probably be able to navigate it anyways but like post stuff like that <laughs> oh sometimes I, i'm just all like why why are you guys even posting this stuff right okay let's see uh maturing is realizing you don't need to be friends with everyone because girls are fake so guys did you know this 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 person on the screen right now yeah she's fake she doesn't exist see <gasps> does not exist at all oh no she she's I, I mean, I would say maturing is realizing that not everyone that says they're your friend are actually your friends regardless of their gender and whatnot and that you should be fine with not being friends with them and it's better if you're not friends with them in the first place, you know? Okay, let's... Okay, so I don't know how to do makeup, but I can make cinnamon rolls better than a bakery. That's nice! At least you don't go to a bakery and get cinnamon rolls, but then again, how often do you make cinnamon rolls? Who knows? But also, like, if you wanted to learn how to do makeup, there's a lot of videos out there, a lot of tutorials. You know, try your hand at it. Or if, if you don't want to use makeup, that's also fine. You don't need to know how to put on makeup if you don't want to. Sheesh, and not every person that puts on makeup does not know how to <laughs> cook either. Sheesh. The assumptions are, like, really crazy throughout the board, everything and whatnot. But yeah, that was uh not like the other girls subreddit did you have fun uh let me know who you like this uh, kind of me reading reddit and whatnot i don't know i might do a few just to get a feel for it and if i feel like i can do it i'll just keep doing it if not i'll just yeah i don't know but yeah let me know if there's a subreddit you want me to check out thank you very much for watching the video please subscribe if you liked it and i'll see you later in whatever shape or form and yeah take care of yourself okay bye bye